Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game video. We are now breaking down the killers or the family members for the game. Also, what all the stats mean in the game, like, for example, savagery, harvesting, endurance. We're going to figure out what all that means. No perks have been revealed yet. Uh, we don't know exactly what they do, but there's going to be a lot of depth to the game, skill trees, and a bunch of stuff like that. But right now, let's break down the family members that are all revealed, all their special abilities and everything. Let's hop into it. If you learn anything, if you enjoy these breakdown videos, leave a like, subscribe. We're like 70 subs away from 6,000, so that's huge. Um, let's hop into it. All right, so we're going to start off with Leatherface here, one of the five family members in the game. Once we get down to attributes, I'll go over what all those mean. All right, so Leatherface, he is 6'7", 330 pounds. We don't know his age, his hometown. The butcher of the family, Leatherface, is the most brutal of the group. While he fills a variety of roles around the house, there's one he's particularly proficient at. We think it's clear what that is. Yes. His main ability is simple. He wields the weapon of dismemberment, the chainsaw. What he lacks in maneuverability, he makes up for with brute strength. Able to saw and bash through bolted doors and blockades in his pursuit of the victims. Stacked with high endurance, as well as the highest mark for savagery, Leatherface is a powerful force the victims would do well to avoid. Alright, let's go over his main ability, Maim, really quickly. So, Maim. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Leatherface carries the saw. The saw is the maim ability. He can utilize it in a variety of ways, not a least of which is to dismember any victims he might get his hands on. It was also revealed that the maim ability back in my first Texas Chainsaw Massacre video, which you can go find maybe up here in one of the cards, or just go to my playlists in the description and find my Texas Chainsaw Massacre playlist. The ability also allows you to just rev the chainsaw randomly and everyone in its radius that can hear it um, gets like feared or something, maybe darker vision, maybe their heart starts beating faster, maybe they start making more noise for the cook to listen out for, or their stamina drains, but it does something to them when they're in the radius of the saw revving. As well as if you don't rev the saw and you hit people, it's not gonna do a ton of damage, but once you do rev it, and if you hit the sweet spot before it overheats and before um, when it's going its fastest at its revving speed. If you just hit the perfect sweet spot and hit someone with it, you'll instantly execute them and kill them. So that seems very overpowered, but probably very hard to pull off as well. And his attributes, as we heard, highest savagery attribute. What is savagery though? Let's go look at it. Savagery, the attribute directly affects the amount of damage you deal with melee hits, but should not be seen as simple strength. Think of savagery as a proficiency level for killing in game. Used in conjunction with endurance as a way to determine the full potential for damage dealt. Let's just go over all of these actually. Harvesting. Harvesting affects the amount of blood you gain for grandpa when interacting with victims. It does not, however, affect the amount of blood gained from buckets around the map. Melee hits, grapples with victims, and executions are the specific interactions that can fill your blood vial dependent on your harvesting stat. And of course, once you get enough blood from collected around the map or from your blood vial filling, you go feed it to grandpa. He'll let off a sonic pulse scream wave that anybody that's moving at that time will be revealed through walls. So kind of like Lion from Rainbow Six Siege, I guess. Maybe it doesn't give you a three second countdown at the top that, that grandpa's about to scream, but um, yeah, anyone moving during that time will be revealed. Endurance. Similar to the victim attribute, endurance affects the stamina drain and recharge rate. On the family side, however, melee strikes also drain stamina, making the endurance attribute important for dealing damage as well as mobility. And as a side note for all the attributes here, these attributes all work together to make up the type of killer any given family member is. Considering you cannot attack without any stamina left in the pool, savagery and endurance are tied together in interesting ways. Mix in the fact that your harvesting rating will affect how much blood you will walk away with after each altercation, and you can start to see how the balancing shapes up with our cast of cannibals. So yeah, it really seems like savagery and endurance are going to be the most important factors here since you actually have to chase and be able to swing a lot and kill people in this game. Harvesting is just more of a, a bonus attribute. There might be a certain um, family member that's really proficient at it. I would guess maybe the cook is the best at harvesting. We're going to go through and see though. But yeah, it, it all depends on how easy grandpa is to avoid once you feed him blood. How easy the victims, if they get a countdown before he screams, they could just all stand still and then you get no value out of all that blood you just harvested. But uh, I don't know. I don't know how it exactly works yet. We gotta see it in game to see if it really is a good attribute to have. But definitely savagery for damage dealing, endurance for how much you can swing and chase people is very important. 
Leatherface, the destructive type. Leatherface can destroy crawl spaces, barricades, and doors. Barricades being one of the few items that can give victims a bit of separation from the more nimble family members like Sissy and the Hitchhiker. This destructive option changes the routes present in the map each match. Okay, so Leatherface can... We know that some of the family members are able to crawl through the same crawl spaces as the victims. Um, him being able to destroy those routes could actually like hinder his own team as well. So that's kind of interesting if... Um, there's gonna be some like troll griefing leather faces out there that just sabotage their own team. But uh, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> oh so, yeah, some of these guys are gonna definitely specialize. I'm guessing Leatherface, Johnny and Sissy, no, Johnny and the Cook probably specialize in being in the house and then Sissy and the Hitchhiker definitely work better on the outside of the house. I think, maybe. All right, let's move on to Johnny. Looking really sick over here, Johnny, family member. Family member, six to 200 pounds. Don't know his age, don't know his hometown. And his special ability is hunt. Let's actually go over that really quickly. Johnny, hunt. Johnny is a stalker, a predator, and like any true predator, he's a skilled hunter. His ability, his hunt ability allows him to see and track the fresh footsteps of victims around the map. Okay, and again, kind of like Rainbow Six Siege. I don't even play the game, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing um, related things here. That's kind of like Jackal's ability, uh, or if you play COD, um, the tracker ability, I guess. So you're going to see footsteps of the map. I don't know if it's going to be like Jackal in the way where the footprints change color as the heat temperatures go down. Um, like red is really near you, and then like blue and green is very cold footprints. Uh, that seems like a really good ability, though. All depends on how long it's active and, and everything like that. But cool, Johnny has a cool ability. Raised by Black Nancy and the closest thing to a true serial killer the family has, Johnny is a predator in every sense. He uses his strength to stalk and overpower anyone he sees as weaker than him, which in his mind is everyone. His hunt ability allows him to see fresh tracks and follow the trails of his victims. Harvesting is fine, but he will never let that get in the way of pure savagery, which is exactly what he rel relishes in. In a family full of unpredictable maniacs, Johnny is the most unpredictable of all, often clashing with the clan when his base instincts are impossible to ignore. Alright, so very high savagery. Is that the same? No. Okay, no. Not the same as Leatherface, but still very, very high. Harvesting kind of on the lower end as well, just like Leatherface, but endurance is in the middle. Very, very nice. Or past the middle, actually. Alright, and some of the attributes that make Johnny special. Aside from being able to actually track you through the map, Johnny can also put his frame to work for him by being able to instantly barge doors as well as close crawl spaces in game. His hits are also concussive, delivering an extra layer of disorientation on attack to helpless victims. Okay, okay, this this dude's a giga chad. Alright, well that was Johnny. That's going to be interesting, getting uh, concussed every time you get hit by him. And being able to barge doors. We, we saw in the trailer that Leatherface can get through doors, um, but he like chainsaws it and does it very slowly. This dude can just bash through them. Hopefully that's on like a cooldown or something. I don't know. The victims are going to feel pretty helpless if there's a Leatherface plus a Johnny on a team. And the family member, the Hitchhiker, looking like a drugged up James Franco over here. 5'11", 170 pounds, don't know the years, don't know the hometown. The Hitchhiker is the weary, greasy, and downright feral type. He's also sort of an artist of the macabre, known to craft items of bone and teeth. His trap ability is a dark extension of that farmland ingenuity where nothing is left to waste, visually represented as snares made of ribs and string. He makes excellent use of his slim frame to fit into gaps and crawl spaces, making it difficult to give him the slip. So very hard to escape. He probably yeah the highest endurance in the game, I'm guessing. Naturally, he has the highest endurance ranking of the entire family and is a relentless pursuer. Finding the places he cannot follow will be crucial when he is on your heels. That is terrifying. Okay, so he is the chaser of the group. Very high endurance. He's going to be chasing you a lot, being able to swing a lot as well with that, but not doing a ton of damage with his little shiv. And when you can't run, you'll probably be stuck in a trap because his main ability is trap. Okay, so what does trap do? The hitchhiker trap. The hitchhiker is handy with a pile of bones, and his trap ability is an extension of that. The macabre artist can place traps around the map that alert him when an unsuspecting victim steps in. And some of his special attributes, he's a slippery one and his traversal is a perfect example of that. He can play as the persistent pursuer that is tough to shake off, chasing victims through gaps and crawl spaces. His high endurance marks means he's 
swiping at you relentless while doing so. Alright, so this dude seems like the most terrifying to be chased by for sure. He also seems really fun because placing traps, in any game, for me at least, the trap based killers and monsters in games are always the most fun for me. So I might be a hitchhiker player, I don't know. But yeah, low savagery, pretty uh, medium or higher than medium harvesting, which is good. And the highest endurance, very nice. Sissy, this girl also looks really cool. Um, and yeah, look at that. She has the highest harvesting, which is what I guessed. So Sissy, family, 5'8", um, one inch taller than me. 135 pounds, don't know the years, don't know the hometown. Bane is her main ability, but let's go over her description first. A drifter and a product of the hazy drug-fueled era, Sissy is extremely enigmatic, even for the group having spurt out of numerous cults, including Spawn Ranch, Sissy utilizes her. Is this all one sentence, dude? I'm not seeing any periods. Her wires, or her wiles, to make her way back to Texas, leaving a blood trail in her wake. That was all one sentence, I think, or I'm stupid. Demented and unstable, Sissy's tur turbulent past has only further fed her tendencies. Somewhere in her travels, she picked up strange organic skills and her poisonous bane ability is the deadly result of that. Do not let her lower savagery rating fool you, she is every bit as dangerous as the rest of the family, albeit in different ways, so she's probably more powerful through her abilities rather than her natural just slice and dice. Alright, so let's go over bane as an ability. Sissy picked up some unique skills in her travels, like her bane ability. Craft poisons from local plants, then blow the powder in the faces of victims, or use them to contaminate items around the map. So kind of reminded me of the plague from DBD. Maybe you can put the poison on vault locations or crawl spaces, uh, or maybe just put them on knives around the map. So once they pick them up, they'll get poisoned. I wonder if it causes like hallucinations and stuff. That would be really, really cool. Or it just damages them, which would be a little more boring, but pretty deadly. And some of the special attributes of Sissy. Sissy is light on her feet, similar to the Hitchhiker, but also crafty, sneaky, and sinister. Because of this, not only can she traverse through gaps and crawl spaces, she can also utilize hiding spots to get the jump on victims. What? Okay, so we did see some of the hiding spots in the trailer, in like the gameplay reveal. Uh, you can hide in lockers, you can hide in freezers, like the chest opening freezers. Um, there's probably more than just that as well. She can be in there with you or before you. You open a locker and Sissy jumps out on you or something. That is terrifying. Okay, so she's the dredge mixed with the doctor, mixed with the plague. Very cool. I like that. That is actually terrifying. Maybe she'll be my favorite to play. I don't know. Being able to sneak around and uh, hide in closets and stuff. Ooh. All right, final family member, the cook. 5'9", 165 pounds. Don't know the years. Hometown. His main ability is seek, but let's go over his description first. The old man, the cook. He might say he don't take much pleasure in killing, but he does just fine when needed. He's the owner of the gas station and the order of the household, what little order there is, and knows every inch of these places. One board creaks and he can pin down its location. Equipped with his weapon of choice, a broken broom handle, and his seek ability that lets him tune in to every sound and track down those victims. Savagery and harvesting marks are understandably high, higher than his endurance, which is by far the lowest among the family. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we saw in the trailer, he like waddles like a little penguin, so he is very slow, probably can't sprint for more than like a second or two, and can't swing much either. But he's good at spotting people. I still feel like he's gonna be one of the worst family members in the game, unless his ability super makes up for it, or he has some crazy attributes. Let's read his ability. The seek ability allows the cook to lean in and listen carefully to any strange sounds he might hear around the map. If a sound is detected, he can focus on it, revealing the location of the victim, unfortunate enough to be making the most noise. So that seems really good on paper, but will it be effective enough? I don't know. And some of his special attributes, he can add additional locks to doors around the map. That's pretty good. Starting the match off with three in his inventory. These locks can be removed and added back to his inventory should he choose to relocate one of them. The cook can also close crawl spaces, causing victims to need to reopen them quietly. Okay, but then Leatherface can also just destroy the crawl space so no one can enter it. Um, 
Huh, so he is very, very good in the house. Probably not good at chasing out in the yards and stuff. But that's cool. Okay, so you can lock places. I wonder if you can lock lockers too, so no one can use those. That would be, that would come in handy a lot, I'm guessing. But that low endurance, just seeing it that low makes me worried about his, uh, maybe not his play style, but more just how balanced he is. But hey, he might not need that endurance if he's sticking in the house the entire time. I mean, being able to literally see people through walls that are just making the most minuscule noises, um, that's pretty good. And then you can just call it out to your team. Alright, anyways, I'm excited to see more gameplay of this game. I'll be doing another video breaking down all the victims. I think there's more victims than there are family members, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Anyways, tune in for that video coming very, very soon. If you are excited about the game, subscribe, leave a like. Um, I'll be covering it once it comes out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Texas Chainsaw Massacre video very, very soon.